She started bashing me, and when I blocked her, she started DMing me on Instagram to bash me some more. This was Colby's fault, so I called him expecting to help. Seriously, your girlfriend or whatever you guys are keeps messaging me and saying horrible things. Tell her to stop. Well, I don't know what to do. I can't monitor her phone and control her. Colby, can you just help me? If you ever loved me, just tell her. Once I told my sister about the situation, she instantly told me to block Colby's number. Did you block it? Yes, I did. You can stop asking. Let me see. I don't believe you did. You're not strong enough to do it on your own. I'm over him. Honest. Look, I really blocked his number. He has a new girlfriend anyway, and all I want is to get over him. I wish I deleted his number instead of just blocking it, but truthfully, I was still in love with him. And no matter what I did to try and get him off my mind, he kept coming up. So I messaged him, asking to take me back, to give me another chance. I think that fed into his ego, because after that message, I finally realized who he really was. I first met Colby at a football game, where I thought he was really cute and funny. But at that time, I was in a relationship with my girlfriend, Abby. We were together for a few more months until it didn't last long and her interest in me slowly faded and we broke up. Her reasoning was that it just wasn't working out. I had no idea what that meant because I had done everything for her and was always there when she needed me. It didn't take long until I found out that she had left me for her ex, who she had been secretly speaking to behind my back while we were dating. I'd see them together walking around school, holding hands, laughing like they were rubbing it in my face. Luckily, that cute guy I met at the football game, Colby, him and I kept in touch. And while I was going through all of this, he was by my side and we eventually became best friends. The thing was, I started to get strong feelings for him and I didn't want to be best friends anymore. I wanted him to love me. I wanted him to be my boyfriend. So the only way that was going to happen was if I made it obvious. I had to flirt with him until he noticed. I knew if I wanted him to look at me differently, then I had to start being different around him. No, I didn't send him any pics, if that's what you're thinking. But I did flirt with him whenever I got the chance and would make... dirty jokes. <laughs> wink wink. At first, he was a little taken back but he slowly started to get the clues and flirted back with me. It got to the point where even his guy friends began noticing our chemistry, and they would nudge him whenever I walked by as I smiled at him. Most of the time, I ignored his friends because I only cared about getting Colby, and I didn't want him to lose interest in me like my ex had. All of this happened only weeks after my breakup with Abby, and I knew if I wanted him to ask me out, that I had to be the only girl he'd speak to. I made it seem like we were already in a relationship, so no one else would claim him. I didn't want to lose a good guy, and I didn't want anyone else to be with him but me. Luckily, my patience paid off, and at one of our school football games, Colby walked up to me, pulled me aside, and asked, Will you be my girlfriend? Yes, of course! I thought you'd never ask! He brought me in for a hug and huddled around where his friends, all cheering and clapping for both of us. Everything was perfect. A few months later, and he started to change and say things like, You're such an attention wh and you try to hide it by acting all innocent all the time. What? What did I do? I don't get it, Colby. Just tell me what I did and I'll change, but I am not those things. Oh, come on! You treat boys like we are your toys and you try to get every look you can. All you care about is yourself and how much attention you can get. I don't really remember when this started happening, but soon after that, he wanted to break up with me. Normally, I would fight back and never allow anyone to speak to me like that, but I didn't want to lose him or go through another breakup. I knew the real Kobe and this wasn't him, so I forgave him. We started talking again, and eventually we got closer, and we started dating again, just in time for the new school year. It didn't take long until Kobe began insulting me again, only this time, he started talking about hurting himself. Please, Colby, don't do that! I love you! Please don't do anything you'll regret! 
What's wrong? Maybe I can help you. God, there you go again. Even when I'm talking about me, my problems, you turn it around and make it all about you. Why can't you just let me do whatever I want? Can't you see you're making me unhappy? You don't mean that. You're just stressed right now and not thinking clearly. Just wait it out and you'll see. This is just a phase. Eventually, I couldn't handle the pressure anymore. Trying to keep the perfect image of us at school when on the inside, I was fighting to keep us together and I didn't know why. I gave in to the pressure and started to turn on my own body. When Colby found out, he gave me a disgusted look and told me to never speak to him again. And then, out of nowhere, I received a random text message from some girl in Texas. She started bashing me with insults, calling me names and spamming my phone. I tried asking her where she got my number and how she even knew about my relationship with Colby. What do you mean, you and Colby? Colby is my boyfriend! We've been dating since summer! I instantly blocked her number. Obviously, she was some deranged girl, but she didn't stop there. She tracked down my Instagram and began DMing me on there. I knew where she got this information from. There was only one person, Colby. And I needed to know if what she was saying was true. It turned out, even before a short break, Colby had been cheating on me with this girl, telling her everything, even giving her my number and information. I knew I should have stopped speaking to him that day, but this girl pissed me off so much and she was such a nasty person. I knew she wasn't good for him, so I blocked the incident and acted like it didn't happen and focused on just us two. Colby, what do you like about me? Like, why do you keep talking to me? Well, I really like your body. I think you have a nice body compared to other girls. <laughs> You're so funny, but really, what about my personality? Or how I make you feel? I make you happy, right? That's why we keep coming back together? No, I like your body. Truthfully, I'm just using you. I never liked you to begin with. Looking back on it, I should have deleted his number then. But there was something about him that I couldn't get over. Sure, I felt used like someone's toy, but at the time, I thought that being his toy would be better than nothing at all, and plus, I was physical with Colby, and this other girl was in some other state. So, I just acted like I didn't know anything whenever Colby messaged her. That was until my sister came into the room and saw me crying on the floor in a mess, forcing me to block his number. She was in college and told me she knew boys like this, and that they only wanted one thing my body, and didn't care who they hurt just as long as they got what they wanted. But I ended up messaging him anyway, and we continued our relationship without anyone knowing until I finally asked him one last time. Colby, what do you like about me? I told you already, you have a nice body. Even my friends think so. You should feel lucky with how honest I am with you and that you have good genes. My self-esteem was crushed. After that final day, I didn't trust anyone if they were remotely nice to me. And I had people spread rumors too. I would cry if I remotely remembered Colby or if something triggered a memory of us. It was hard believing he wasn't interested in me as a person after everything you went through. But in the end, he just wanted me physically. And I gave it to him as he played my emotions and strung me along. In my last year, I met a new guy. Tyler. I didn't know if he would be the same as Colby, and sometimes I would panic if something reminded me of him. But after New Year's, he came over more often, and I realized he was different when, one day, Colby began sending me rude messages, and I turned to Tyler for help because I didn't know what to do. He calmed me down, and that was when he asked me out. He never walked away from me when I was having a hard time or thought about hurting myself. He is always patient, and I can be myself around him. Tyler and I are still together, and because of him, I am slowly trusting people and using my experiences to make sure none of my friends go through what I did.